in the business, you know, you, you, yeah. you meet people, you know, yeah. and you realize they're just people, but Sunny Six Killer wasn't just a person to me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So when I was growing up in uh, junior high was uh, probably 1970, 71, I first started hearing about some guy named Sonny Six Killer and of course in those days anytime there was a native guy who was in college or anywhere in sports it was a really big deal. Athlete, quarterback, University of Washington 1971, that era where he came in as a fourth string quarterback worked his way up to become the starter and electrified the Pacific Northwest with his, with his arm. He was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and it was actually one of the first times that my foster dad recognized that I was Indian by saying, you know, he's Indian too. It, it suddenly clicked in me. You mean I can go to college? You mean I can see myself as something, you know, something more than than the dummy lummy. Yeah, he was a role model to me and it was very exciting to see him. Those days were also the days when our people really began to become involved in activism, fighting for our rights. The Nisqually tribe was fighting for their fishing rights all that same time. Sonny Six Killer, in his own simple way of playing football and just being Indian, being so many things. He, he wasn't supposed to be as good at being a quarterback as he was and yet Man, he would get around people, he'd, he'd run, he'd scramble, he was, and he'd get the ball out. And it would, it would land in these most amazing places and spaces and times. And, and it was inspirational to me to experience the play of Sonny Siskiller. It's, it's kind of cool that uh, as a result, here we are today. And, and it's, I really appreciate the fact that Sonny uh, allowed his name to be used in this play and that uh, also he's been vocal himself that he hopes the Redskins will change their name. In the Northwest where I reside in Seattle and it's, uh, uh, I think there's a lot of feeling about that. You know, we've had uh, to endure things of uh, fishing rights and uh, sovereignty and all those issues. And, and I think this is, uh, I think it depends on wh who you're asking about if it's that name's uh, proud. Mm -hmm. it, it, from my perspective, it's not a pride thing. It's a, it's a, it's a racial thing and it's, and it's racist to me. Well, there's certainly some solidarity among a lot of other voices that are supporting a change in the name Sunny Six Killer. Thanks for joining us at this hour. It's been a delight, my friend. Thank you very much.